Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a panoramic view of the Bay of Lima. Today I'm gonna run for a while. I'm gonna I'm going running through this way, which is the boardwalk of Chorrillos, until the head of Regatas Club, which is over there. Then I will run going down through a way oh, we cannot see that way until I get the beach and again going going and going and going and going all along the boardwalk close or near the beach so uh, it's been a while since the last time I ran so the idea behind this video is to do it on a regular on a regular way so i have to i have i got some weight so my idea is to <laughs> to you know to exercise myself a little bit and i think that running is a good way to do it so join me in this little running adventure and this is another panoramic view of the Bay of Lima uh, as you can see there are some little boats scattered in the, in the sea and this one is the uh, Regatas Lima Club hmm? an exclusive club for uh, show well off people in Lima so let's continue our running there are some apartments over there some of them are on sale but they have this beautiful view of the beach which is impressive So I have to reach that corner and then turn to this way, go down until I get the beach. Okay, so we are going down so we can reach the beach which is close I will turn to my left and get this kind of alley as I always mention this alley reminds me some part of Cusco Machu Picchu specifically talking there is a kind of local mark, market I run here that is the gate of the club we were talking previously and there are some kind of uh, local restaurants called cevicherias Okay, I already reached Agualulce Beach, Sweetwater Beach. As you can see, the fishers' boat, boats are scattered in the, in the sea uh, because maybe they have just finished their, you know, the hour uh, in which they usually fish which is very very early in the morning it's about um, 9 30 or 10 in the morning morning it's very it's still early <sighs> next time i will try to get up earlier than today in order to have some you know 
some footage of the very very beginning of the day so I will run all along the coast until I get the seven kilometers this is a boardwalk of uh, Torrios in Lima and uh, join me join me in this in this adventure little adventure urban adventure this is another spot I am in the district in the neighborhood of Barranco which is um, about four kilometers or five kilometers away from my home this is not Chorrillos properly Chorrillos neighborhood the place where I live in this is Barranco so the day is uh, relatively humid a little bit wet the sky is foggy and gray as you can see so I have to continue a little bit more until I reach seven kilometers so that I can run at the end at least 14 kilometers which is more or less my goal today mm -hmm. so I just want you to see how it's a view from this spot a lot of cars coming and going and uh, some street sellers around not a lot of people in the beach due to the fact that we're still in winter some people running along the coast along the seaside of the beach so let's continue our journey okay i will share with you another view of uh, the beach this restaurant is called rustica it's also a kind of bar even a discotheque Ooh. this is the beach in Lima it looks cold because it's cold but thanks to the fact that the beach that our sea is cold we have a wide variety of fishes and it means a lot of dishes you know our cuisine is rich of dishes of food uh, marine food you know okay that's a cultural part of of this video that's cool she's a surfer Okay, I am at the height of Cala restaurant, another exclusive restaurant in Lima, very expensive. Uh, well, maybe I am running about six kilometers, more or less. This is a statue of the restaurant. Can you see that building? They made this building to fit in the cliff. But I think it's a little bit dangerous because we have some earthquakes very often. And uh, I don't know, I really don't know how safe it is, you know, to build in the middle of the cliff. But it's, it is what it is. Huh. I'm just a little bit tired, a little bit tired. 
I have to get used to this kind of routine, you know, running, running. Okay, but I am about to reach my goal. The first lap. to some judicial conflicts these restaurants are abandoned in this part of my route and these restaurants were supposed to be not expensive but a little bit fancy we say we will say that and you know all the furniture is you know Mm, getting a little bit like uh, getting getting going bad I don't know I don't remember the proper the proper term for this but there there is still there is some kind of uh, someone is looking after this kind of furniture still okay well I have to run! Okay, I am reaching this part of the beach This is a very beautiful view Perhaps the disadvantage is that it's a little bit cold as well, but still I really enjoy this part of my running. What do you think about it? This is rusty. But still, it's beautiful. I'm very peaceful, after all. You know? In many ways, it merged the, the peace that you feel from the ocean and, you know, the cha cha chaotic, chaotic uh, dynamic of the city. This part is Miraflores. And that part where my finger is pointing is Barranco. They will try to build a, a bridge that will join both corners of this, um, uh, I, I don't know the name in English, maybe a canyon. It's not a canyon properly. This is a well-known commercial center called Larcomar these little ones these crabs are mimetized with the stones they have the same color Move guys, move! There are a lot of them! So, I am not extremely tired. I think that I have some ob oxygen left. So, I will have to run back. Hmm? And then, and then uh, I will see if I if I do some indoor cycling. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, uh, I have to I have to get my bicycle fixed too, 
I don't know if I'll do it today. I will try. I have to edit this video. I won't invest a lot of time in edition because I really want to, you know, to have this kind of videos very, very natural, you know? I want you to feel the, the environment. To see what I see. Okay. On the other hand, I like to talk because it pushed myself in order to improve my English language skills. And this is another aspect of the sea. Believe it or not, the tide is not high. It's relatively low today. Whew. A lot of crabs over there. This is a very peaceful view. You know, I really love it. Even when the sky is like, there is a kind of roof of clouds, gray roof of clouds. It's, it's very, it's very foggy today. But my feeling is that everything is like changing. We are close to the beginning of a spring. Springtime in Lima, which is not what you think it is compared to the north part of the world. It's a little bit different. Okay, I have to run. I have to run. Join me, join me. I will try to hang myself from this bar. Along this year, I was trying from time to time to to improve this technique, it's not easy. It's the first time, I mean, this year is the first time I'm trying to do this. And you have to take into account that I am overweight. So it's not going to be easy, but I will try at least to hang myself. Okay, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough for today. I will try to run a little bit more. Uh, this is the, the view of the beach. My feeling is that, uh, my feeling is that the tide is at the beginning of rising. That's why I noticed there are like more waves coming to the, to the seaside. By the way, this is a kind of a stone beach. There is no kind of sand around. In the past, the, the water, the water reached the, you know, the cliff of the city. This part of the city, you know, we gain um what's a what's a word what's a word we gain some space uh, from the sea you know i have to prove my english in order to explain this but i feel you can understand what i am saying so it is not na a natural part of of the you know this is not natural okay <laughs> this is not natural in the past, the water usually reached, you know, the border of the cliff. So, I have to run a little bit more. This uh, still some kilometers left. I stop for you in order to explain some things, mm -hmm. you know, in order to share my ideas, my thoughts. 
So let's continue. Let's continue, babies. It's cool, guys. This is the best part of the day for them. <laughs> they are like free. When I was at school, the days they let us go outside were the best ones. <laughs> you know, because when you are at school, you feel like you are in a kind of prison, a kind of jail. That's the truth. That's the ugly truth. Okay, okay. If you want to know about my life, go and watch the scene. Martin Adán, who was a poet, a Peruvian poet who lived in Barranco. So if you want to know about my life, watch the scene. Okay, I will rest for a while a little bit I don't know exactly the name for Terraza Terrace maybe I don't know okay there is a Terrace Terrace you know a place where the table and the banks are outside and there are these little chain of uh, bombs light bombs this is relatively new but at this time of the day is empty obviously this the season the season don't help because it's a little bit cold it's a little bit wet it's a little bit you know and people are like uh, try to avoid these weather conditions although for the ones who are used to you know northern conditions you know snow heavy rains and things like that this weather is like you know summer <laughs> uh, but for us who are from lima peru is like cold let's say let's say that word so um, what's next i will run for a while and here there is a kind of uh, muelle I don't remember the name in English for muelle you know the place from the boats you know go fishing something like that I will show you that I will show you part of the fishing market I don't I don't buy fish over there there are some local markets close to my home but it's nice for you to see how it works, how it is like. So I'm gonna rest just a little bit because I'm a little bit tired. I have to get used to this. And in order to, you know, to record some footage for my blog, it's good for me to, to do these kind of stops. Okay, I have to run a little bit more. Okay, this is a uh, local market. Obviously they are not like selling fish right now because it's almost midday. But this is for you to have an idea. There are some fishes over there. They are like cleaning the tables where they work. Still there are some fish over there. Let's walk a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's walk a little bit more. I will walk a little bit more. 
for you to see how it works over here well this is my neighborhood um, a friend of mine Alejandro wants to learn how to fish we don't know how to fish I tried to do it once with not with any kind of a success I was waiting for the for the fish you know to I don't know the name but I was unsuccess doing that Okay, this part would be the end of my running routine then I have to go there to the boardwalk which is uh, you know I have to go up and then I have to run back to my home which is over there Okay, the little boats are like peacefully floating over the sea. This is a beautiful and peaceful view. Very picturesque, picturesque. Okay, so it's time to run back. It's been uh, about uh, 10 kilometers until this point. I'm not so tired. Obviously, you know, perhaps tomorrow I will feel the effects of this kind of running. So I will rest a little bit. I will try to, I will try to rest during the during the afternoon and tomorrow I will I will go run for a run again I have to lose weight that's my goal these are the fishing nets There are some restaurants. People are about to to have lunch. It's another restaurant. Okay, I am back. About 11 kilometers until this spot. What I did is running up all this way along and then turn back in that corner. And, uh, and now I will run a little bit until I get home. First, firstly, through this uh, way, the, the boardwalk of Chorrillos, my neighborhood, and then I will enter to the city, well, city or, I don't know, you know, the urban part of this. So, and yes, yes, I'm a little bit tired. I am a little bit tired, but I will try to do it regularly I mean I will try to run regularly that's my goal that's my goal <laughs> 